Hello everybody, in this video we're going to be talking about the inverse trig functions, okay, and the derivatives of inverse trig functions. So the inverse trig functions are the arc sine function, the arc sine of x, arc cosine of x, arc tangent of x, arc, um, arc cosecant of x, arc secant of x, and arc cotangent of x. Okay, and we're going to learn how to take the derivatives of each of these functions. So you might remember that these functions are the inverse of the tri normal trig function, sine, cosine, tangent, cosecant, secant, and cotangent, and that they're defined only on a specific domain. Okay, so their own arc sine is only defined on the interval from negative pi over 2 to pi over 2. Our cosine is only defined on the interval 0 to pi. Okay? Similarly, our tangent, our cosecant, our secant, and our cotangent all have only all have separate domains. Okay? All have separate domains. So what we're going to do is try to find derivatives of these. Okay? So if we take the derivative of arc, arc sine of x, we get 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay? If we take the derivative of arc cosine of x, we get negative 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. If we take the derivative of arc secant of x, arc secant of x, well, we get 1 over x squared, sorry, not x squared, it's 1 over x times the square root of x squared minus 1. And the derivative of arc cosecant of x our cosecant of x equals negative 1 over x times the square root of x squared minus 1. And the derivative of arc tangent of x, arc tangent of x, okay, arc tangent of x is equal to 1 over 1 plus x squared. And the derivative of arc cotangent, arc cotangent of x equals negative 1 over 1 plus x squared. Okay, that's really all there is to it. Pay attention that there are only three rules you really need to memorize. Okay, arc sine, arc secant, and arc tangent. Because their respective co-functions, cosine, cosecant, and cotangent, all have basically the same derivative as their counterpart, except that they're negative. Okay, so for our derivative of arc cosine, that's just the negative of the derivative of arc sine. Okay, same goes for cosecant and cotangent. Okay, so it makes it really, really simple. So let's do a problem. Okay, let's see how you can apply this. So if we want to find a derivative, the derivative of arc secant, arc secant of e to the 2x, okay, the derivative of arc secant of e to the 2x, well, you would just use the um, chain rule, okay? The derivative of e to the 2x is 2e to the 2x divided by e to the 2x times e to the 2x squared, that's e to the 4x minus 1. Keep note that these two terms cancel. So our final derivative equals 2 over the square root of e to the 4x minus 1. Okay, that was an easy one. Let's do a little bit harder one, <clears throat> although this one's not super hard. So let's take the derivative of arc sine of x 
arc sine of x plus x times the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now, how would you start with this? So, the derivative of arc sine of x is just 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Now, you could, we, have, we should use the product rule here, okay, for the second term. So, it will be f prime, that's 1g, 1 minus x squared, plus g prime. What's g prime? Okay, what is g prime? So, we can just use the, the chain rule for this one. Okay, it will be negative 2x, negative 2x times 1 half times square of, not square, 1 minus x squared to the negative 1 half power times x. We can't forget that x over there. Okay, so what do we get? Okay, what do we get? Well, if we do all the simplification, okay, if we get all the simplification, we get 1 over square root of 1 minus x squared, okay, and this cancels. So we have minus x squared over the square root of 1 minus x squared, okay, plus, well, we should have a common denominator. So if we multiply by square root of 1 minus x squared, we get 1 minus x squared over the square root of 1 minus x squared. Okay? Now, if we add these together, you get 2 minus 2x squared over the square root of 1 minus x squared. And you, you should see that you can simplify it further. 1 minus x squared times the square root of 1 minus x squared. And you should also realize that you can rationalize the denominator, okay? And if you rationalize it, or you just notice that 1 minus x squared equals the square root of 1 minus x squared times the square root of 1 minus x squared, that gets you 2 times the square root of 1 minus x squared. And we're done. We just found out, we just found out the derivative of arc sine of x was x and the square root of 1 minus x squared is, is, a lot, is a much simpler expression, 2 times the square root of 1 minus x squared. And we're done. We just found out the derivative of this function. If you have any, if you have any questions, please make sure to comment on this video. Like and subscribe for more interesting calculus videos. Thank you.